Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes as the input, then print the count of substrings with the length greater than 1 and whose first character and the last character are adjacent to each other and for example if we have A and B means these two are adjacent to each other and if we have C and B means they are adjacent to each other that is C occurs after B so we have also given a note that A and Z are adjacent to each other and the string is case insensitive so first the program has accept the string yes then print the count of substrings with length greater than one and whose character first character and the last character are adjacent to each other they have also given a note that a and z are adjacent to each other and the string is case insensitive now we'll take our first test case now we are going to take the possible substrings with the length greater than 1 and the first character last character adjacent to each other. So we have N and O which is adjacent to each other. So we have the characters between them. Then after that we have N and M is adjacent to each other and after that we have O and N and then we have O to N again with characters between them and N M and then N to we have M to N so these are the possible substrings with adjacent characters at first and the last. So the count of these is 6. So 6 will be our output. Now we will take uh, another test case. So here you can see that there is only one possible substring with first character and last character adjacent to each other that is graph itself so the count is 1 so 1 will be our output get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our instagram page programming made simple here we have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the string yes. And the string yes is case insensitive. So we'll convert it to lower case. Then we have a variable called count equal to zero to store the count of the substrings with first and last character adjacent to each other. Then we have to iterate over 
for in one in range zero comma length of yes minus one and the other iteration is for in two in range in one plus one comma length of yes these two for loops will represent the first character and the last character and if the yes of in one is equal to equal to a and the yes of in two is equal to equal to z or the reverse one that is if s of index equal one is equal to equal to z and s of in two is a means that is if they are adjacent means we are going to increment the count by one and l if the abs of that is we are going to find the adjacent characters using their ascii values equal to equal to 1 means we are going to increment the count by 1 so this statement represents that if we have a and b means as the first and last character the ascii values are 97 and 98 so the abs of 97 and 98 is 1 so in that case the count will be incremented by 1 and finally we are going to print the count now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output that is 6 and now we'll pass our second test case so yeah we are so we have got the correct output that is 1 that is the uh, test case itself. Now we'll pass our third test case. So here we have got 9 as the output, which is correct. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.